The next topic of the chapter determinant is about the minors and the cofactor. Okay, let me just introduce you what do you mean by minor. Suppose uh, suppose take any determinant A is equal to oh, let me just say A B C D E F G H I. I'm just taking any determinant. Now this determinant is of the order three into three. And also do remember that whenever you're doing a determinant, it should always be a square matrix. That means the number of rows and the number of columns should be equal. Now here the determinant A is equal to this whole thing. So if you can see inside the determinant, how many number of elements are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in short, there should be nine minors two over here at the determinant. Now do remember that a minor is uh, denoted nothing more than your capital M. Now let me just tell you how to find a minor. Mm, suppose if I say find the minor of F. So F would be F means whatever, whatever rows and column the F is touching. Remove that. So this row and this column the F has been touching over it. So what is left? So that will be A, B, G, H. That's your minor. So your F, your minor F, lies in which one? So in short, this is nothing more than M, 2, 3. Why 2, 3? See, second row and third column. Remember, the first one is always your row and the next one is always your column. All right, so that's all about your minor. The definition, you can see it in your textbook or it will be here at popping out at the video. Now, this is all about your minors. Uh, similarly, so uh, let us try to find different minors. Suppose I say find M12. That means the first row and the second column. So one, two. So what is left? It will be nothing more than D, F, G, I. See, first row, second column, so what is left? D, F, G, I. Similarly, if I tell you to find M, uh, 3, 2. That means the third row and the second column. Third row, second column. So what is left? A, C, D, F. All right. And similarly, if I open the oxygen, M, 3, 4. That means the third row and the fourth column. Third row. There is no fourth column, so the minor does not exist over here. So that's all about your minor. Now let me just try to give you one more remark or note. Your note it will be uh, if the determinant if the determinant has an order, then the minor should have. the minor should have n minus 1 order <clears throat> alright so if the determinant has n order then the minor should have n minus 1 order in short if we can just look over here at the same example suppose a is given to be this one so how many order I have 3 into 3 now the minor decreases by 1 because it's n minus 1 so your minors would have how many? 2 into 2. So a determinant of order 3, your minors would be a determinant of order 2. So that's all about your minor. You can pause the video and then see nicely once again. Okay, uh, let me do with the core factor now. Core factor is very easy. So let me just give the same determinant. Let a determinant A is equal to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So how many rows and how many columns are there? Three rows and three columns. Now, over here also, same thing if I had to find the minor. Minor M23. So M23 means the second row and the third column is gone. So what is left? It's A, B, G, H. So a cofactor. Your cofactor is denoted by capital letter A. Remember, okay? Cofactor is denoted by 
nothing more than your capital letter A. So a cofactor A two three would be nothing more than minus one to the power two plus three m two three. That's the your definition for a cofactor, and it's popping up at your screen also the definition for cofactor. So in short, mathematically. Mathematically, a cofactor is denoted by a i j is equal to minus one i plus j m i j. Look over here for this one, okay? See, i j i j. That means your i is what? Your row and j. I it is your row and j. It is nothing more than your column. So this is how we're going to find a cofactor. All right. Uh, similarly, if I have to give one more example uh, if i say find a21 so your 81 will be minus 1 2 plus 1 m21 or if i have to expand it will be minus 1 2 plus 1 your m21 it means what row and what column second row and first column so what is left it will be b c h i that's all for your cofactor all right, that was for your 3 into 3. Let me just try to give you a little bit detail-wise about 2 into 2 also. Suppose, uh, example, let me just say A is equal to, suppose a matrix, A, B, C, D. Now here, your, tell me, what will be your A11? Your A11 means the first row and the first column gone. So it will be minus 1, 1 plus 1, and then M11, which is nothing more than minus 1, 2, so M11 means first row and the first column gone is more than D. So answer is D. Similarly, A12. So that will be minus 1, 1 plus 2. So first row, second column, what's there? C. So that will be minus C. Because 1 plus 2 is 3 and minus 1 to power 3 is minus 1. And A21. 21. 21 means second row, first column. So that will be minus 1, 2 plus 1. B. See, second row, first column, what's left? B. So that will be minus B. And your A22. It's nothing more than second row, second column. So that will be minus 1, 2 plus 2. A. So that will be A. All right, let us try to do some questions of exercise 4.4. Questions have been given. Write the minor and cofactor of following. Elements of the determinant, the number one is given to be 2 minus 4, 0, 3. So, let us try to find the minor first. First of all, it will be M11. 11 means the first row and the first column is gone. First row, first column gone, so what's the answer? 3. Next, M12. That means the first row and the second column gone. The answer will be 0. M, there is no third row because it's of order 2 into 2 so the next one will be m21 that means the second row and the first column so that's be minus 4 and m22 second row second column gone that's 2 so that's all about your minor similarly let's find the cofactor so a11 which will be minus 1 1 plus 1 m11 so that will be 1 plus 1 is 2, minus 1 to the power 2, so I'll sorry, minus 1 plus 2, and the M11, how much you got? 3. So answer should be 3, because minus 1 score is plus. Similarly, A12, so it will be minus 1, 1 plus 2, M12, so that should be minus 1 into 0, that answer is 0. A21, minus 1, 2 plus 1, M to 1 so it should be minus 1 to the power 3 into 2 1 is minus 4 minus 1 to the power 3 is minus 1 minus minus plus then so it should be 4 a 2 2 which is minus 1 2 plus 2 m 2 2 so that should be minus 1 to the power 4 your m 2 2 you got it to be 2 so it should be 2 so that's how we can find minor n cofactor all right let me try to do the next question. That's your question number two. Two one, which is happened to be given to me in this manner. One zero 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 one zero 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 one. Now 
just like I have done the question of question number one same thing I'm gonna do let I'll just try, try to find first of all your M11 your M11 it means the first row and the first column gone so it's the one zero zero one which happens to be one minus zero one similarly M12 your M12 uh, would be nothing more than zero 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 one so one into zero is zero zero is zero the answer is zero m one three one three means first row third column gone so this would be zero one zero zero so answer is again zero your m two one your two one means second row first column gone so this would be zero 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 one answer is again zero m two 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 means second row second column gone so this would be one zero zero one the answer is one your m two three your m two three means second row third column so that should be see second row third column so one zero 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 the answer is zero similarly just if you had to find m three one your three one means third row first column so what will that be it will be nothing more than zero zero one zero so answer is zero let me try to do it over here next m three two your three two means this and this gone sorry this and this gone so that will be one zero 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 so that's just again zero and lastly m three three your three three means one zero zero one which happens to be one so that's all about your minor now same way find the cofactor Cofactor means a11, so that will be minus 1, 1 plus 1, m11. So that will be minus 1 to the power 2 into 1, which is nothing more than 1. Similarly, a12, that will be minus 1, 1 plus 2, m12. So that will be minus 1 to the power 3 into 0, which happens to be 0. Okay, let me do it in a very easy way now, okay? Your a13 would be minus 1 1 plus 3 into 0 which happens to be 0 a 1 2 1 so that is minus 1 2 plus 1 into 0 which happens to be 0 a 2 2 so that will be minus 1 2 plus 2 into 1 which happens to be minus 1 to the power 4 into 1 nothing more than 1 your a 2 3 that will be minus 1 2 plus 3 into 1 which happens to be out to zero not one and because i got the answer to be zero so answer is zero and similarly a31 your a31 would be nothing more than minus one three plus one into zero which is zero and comes your a32 your a32 is also be zero and your a33 would be one how did i solve this two in the same way you try to solve it okay